Hello. And welcome back to Gold Rush RP 2.0. So a day or two ago, they actually ended up releasing quite a large update called the fishing game or the hunting update. And today we're going to be taking a look at it, going through it and showing off some of the features and maybe testing out the systems a little bit. So there was quite a lot added in this update. Uh, first of all, the main thing being now for hunting, you will need a hunting license or there are game wardens around that will be checking hunting licenses. And obviously if you're hunting illegally you can be of course brought to justice for that they also added quite a lot of different items which we're going to be going over each and every one of them in today's video as well that is some hunting blinds some hunting calls as well as a again as i mentioned a new license for the server so we're looking over all that today as well as a couple extra things uh, but first of all to start off doing anything with the new hunting system what we're gonna need is of course a hunting license now i believe we purchased these from general stores i don't believe they're too expensive i there there should be a general store right here over in the town of limpany so we're gonna head on over here and buy ourselves a nice hunting license to start ourselves off again i don't believe these things are too expensive we go over here we're gonna jump on their fruit stall why not and we scroll all the way to the bottom we can get of course our hunting license now as you guys see there are also quite a couple different hunting blinds we're gonna try out all of them in this video just to show you guys all the different options but first of all before we do anything we're gonna need something called a hunting license it's only 40 dollars, so not too expensive so let's purchase ourselves a hunting license and as you can see this should now be in our inventory this hunting license down here and the description reads a hunting license is a regulatory or legal mechanism to control recreational and sports hunting pretty self-explanatory and what we're going to want to do with this is if we use it at the top right we can now see our name obviously we can see Zaville Zamaro but the most important thing here is we can see our hunting rank which is novice there are a couple different hunting ranks uh this is a new exp system new experience system that came with the new hunting update so basically you're going to start out as a novice hunter of course it's the lowest rank and as you go out and you hunt different animals you uh, inspect them and you look them over you'll get a little bit more experience every single time again i will put all of the different hunting ranks on screen now which again is kind of like the different tiers of experience you have with novice obviously being the lowest level and then being a legend hunter at the highest level there's eight different ranks to go through again you don't have exact experience points telling you how close you are but uh from what i'm understanding it's probably going to be quite a lot of hunting to get those levels up and what you'll get through those levels is more harvesting or you'll have a chance to harvest actually a little bit more when you do go out hunting which is honestly a pretty cool mechanic and i'm glad to see it on the server but for now we are of course a novice rank we can also see our strikes here if we end up hunting any illegal animals or poaching which again is now in the game as well we will get a strike for it and uh to go with that before we look over the rest of the items there were a couple things that were quite interesting about that i figured i'd bring up right away um on top of this whole thing there is ice fishing yes we'll check that out today don't you worry we'll definitely check it out but there are now also legendary and illegal poaching missions which is very cool so we might be checking those out as well we're able to go out and hunt a legendary animal um but some of them of course are illegal so uh, obviously if we get caught with them it's quite the hefty fine as well as quite probably a bit of jail time uh so today we are going to uh, hopefully start off on this there also are now black market butchers as there are some animals and of course those legendary animals that are illegal that you can go poach now but of course there are those legendary and illegal poaching missions which we are going to take a look at soon and of course with those legendary and of course poaching missions as well as there now being animals that are illegal to hunt you can no longer sell them to a regular butcher you're now going to have to go and find a black market butcher to sell those off to which is honestly a pretty damn interesting mechanic in my opinion probably not gonna be able to find that in this episode but definitely nice to know that there is some uh, more illegal stuff being added to the server but starting off uh we're gonna be doing kind of everything checking everything out that is with this update i guess the first thing to check out is of course the new inspecting uh mechanic or the way that you actually get xp through hunting so let's uh, start heading out on our travels of course we do have our nice hunting license you will also most likely need a knife to skin the animals uh, i don't believe it gives you any extra rp but of course you want to be skinning these animals and selling obviously the stuff you get from them for a bit of money while you're doing it uh, unfortunately our knife the trader knife doesn't work so we might go purchase a new hunting knife in the future but for now let's go find ourselves an animal to show you guys how you actually will get xp as a hunter and how to level up your hunter level and rank so let's go find an animal or two and i'll show you how it works 
Alrighty, so we got a couple couple bucks here. So we're gonna try and take one down. There we go. Maybe we even get another one just to get a little bit extra XP. There we go. If this one wants to get down. Doesn't seem like it does though. Maybe. Maybe it's down now. That one definitely has some fight in it. Let's see if we can actually get this one. Oh, those are some horses at the top of the hill. We'll leave them alone. But again, to uh, level up your actual hunting system, you're going to have to go over to any animal that you do hunt, and you're going to want a third eye over it and hit inspect animal. You'll get that, of course, very satisfying noise. Then there'll be a short timer, and then you'll obviously inspect the animal, and this is how you're going to gain experience towards leveling up your hunting rank. Now, at the moment, from what I've seen, there doesn't seem to be a number or an exact value for when you're going to rank up but i'm guessing you just kind of keep going on and eventually you will of course uh, level up to the next one which again for us would be going from novice to beginner and i really honestly wish this system was in place a long time ago but i'm glad they finally added it in um this is honestly something that is huge any kind of system that you're able to kind of get something to work towards of course with this you're able to work towards getting a better hunting rank obviously leveling up your experience leveling up your skill um just just really adds a lot gives you something to do gives you more of a goal while you're out hunting if you are you know if that is your profession or what you like to do on the server uh definitely very very cool and of course that is how you're going to go about leveling up any of your hunting uh levels and of course hopefully in the future as you do level them up you will start to get some more stuff from actually skinning animals now uh, we'll have to get a different knife to skin them at some point but for now we can at least inspect them get some of that xp so next uh since i showed you guys of course how to gain experience with the new hunting system what we're gonna do next is look over all of the new items added in this update i've already showed you guys of course the hunting license and how that works you can also see on the back here a couple protected species that you're not allowed to hunt and of course if you do get caught hunting there is quite a couple different finds but for now let's head back over to limpany we're gonna go end up buying all the new items and looking over them that are all included in this update so i'll meet you guys once we're back over at that general store looking over some of the brand new items and back over at the general store with 500 dollars on us to purchase quite a couple items so let's take a look at all of the new items added in this update so again first of all we already looked over the hunting license but there are some other really cool stuff that was added so one of the most important ones and of course the most expensive one is going to be the deer call now the way this works is basically you will use the call somewhere and it will attract various animals of course for right now they only have the deer so we'll most likely i believe only attract the deer for the time being and it has a small chance obviously to attract a predator that might be actually looking for that deer that you're using the call for so you got to make sure you know you're at least a little bit aware of your surroundings and looking what's going on around you make sure of course you don't get attacked by a bear looking for a deer looking for some food got to pay attention to that as well but we're gonna purchase one of these but we're gonna purchase one of these so let's do that we'll buy one don't think they'll be too way. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty light. They don't even really probably weigh around like a pound, it seems. And we'll also open up the shop once again. And we're also going to buy some of these hunting blinds. This is another new thing that was added. One of the coolest ones, in my opinion. Really, really cool thing. Uh, basically, you're able to buy these hunting blinds. And while you're behind yeah, them or while you're in the vicinity of them, animals will not be able to actually notice you. Obviously, if you still make noise, if you shoot your gun, the animals will still notice you. But while you're in the vicinity of the hunting blind, you're pretty much blind to any animals around or any animals that might be spooked by you. So really, really cool for people who like to sit around and hunt. Um, I don't know. Obviously, back in my day, I would have loved loved all this stuff i'm definitely glad it is at getting added now but uh honestly might get me back into doing some hunting but let's buy every single one of these uh now these things only last for one restart once you put it down it will get wiped after the restart so you don't have to worry about these of course being everywhere and of course there are some rules to help people not like putting these up on the roads and such as roadblocks so nothing to worry with there but we're gonna buy all of them and test them all out there are four different kinds uh so let's buy one See how much they weigh. I'm not sure how much these things are going to weigh. So again, if you see, we have 2097. Uh, oh, okay. So they weigh about five pounds each. So uh, we got to go drop some stuff off in our storage. And then uh, we'll start getting all these. And we should be able to go through each and every type. All righty. So just ended up purchasing the last one. Thankfully, we were able to keep them all on our horse. We also might want to grab ourselves a quick knife. I think we're able to buy them from the general store, but we might have to, of course, go on over and uh, purchase them from one of the uh, hunting spots. Can we purchase one from here? I forget. I don't 
don't think we can yeah so i'm gonna go get ourselves a regular knife again unfortunately the new uh the fancy knives like the trader knife and i believe the other knife don't work for skidding but uh they look cool and that's what matters to me you know but uh let's go get ourselves an actual functional knife and then i'll see you guys once we're deep in the woods gonna go test out of course the different kinds of blinds as well as the newly added deer call all right so we've gone over to a spot we're gonna quickly hitch up our horse it's not a horrible area quite a uh, quite wooded over here and then kind of a little bit more of an open area down here i'm not sure exactly how the spawning works with this with this call or how it all works so i guess we'll find out now but for now let's uh quickly chest out the couple different blinds that they have recently added again to the server so starting off we'll uh place each one and then show you guys off it a little bit so we'll start off with the mulch blind so a blind used for hunting has a seat and a window i'm pretty sure they all have the same description so let's use the mulch blind we just use the item and it starts placing it down i'll skip through this as fast as i can for you guys and there we go so this is the mulch blind definitely a cool one again little hiding holes on each side and a little chair in the middle uh what is cool you can actually sit on this chair so you can kind of just sit on here chill out uh if we get into first person as well and kind of just chill in our little blind chill out a little bit have a good time maybe drink a beer or two you know just kind of have a good time in the forest while we're waiting for animals and again while you're in this animals will not actually detect you so pretty cool thing with that but that's the mulch one let's move on to the next one again we have them all in our horse over here so let's move on to the shrub one or scrub it says scrub but i'm guessing it's supposed to say shrub or else it's just like a little play on words but let's use the scrub hunting blind place it down and see what it looks like and let's take a look again i think i've only tried out one of these before okay so a little different than the mulch you see instead of this kind of rough outside we now have this more uh i would say just like wooded outside just like a couple of things of twigs and some some uh nice leaves and such outside still pretty much the same concept as well as you see let's place down the next one let's see what it is okay we got a couple different ones in here next one is going to be a bark one which i'm guessing again is going to be the same design just with bark of course let's place this one down the line as well so let's uh put her down real fast once again all right and i'm pretty curious again what these all look like this is my first time seeing most of them oh okay so this one's a little bit of a cooler one as well so it's just bark on the outside and of course in the back there's a little bit of a smaller area so honestly what you could do is just kind of sit in here have your rifle ready and then whenever an animal comes by you just pop out a little bit stand up and uh you'd be good to shoot definitely a cool little area and again these blinds are pretty 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 nicely made pretty easy to implement as well just able to put them right down right click put them down in just a couple seconds doesn't take too long let's get the last one put down though and then have a look over all of them all right and this is the grass one the last one in the list okay quite nice as well this one has a lot smaller in the front which i kind of like because you're able to kind of just sit here and obviously get a nice view of the area in front of you uh honestly this is probably one of my favorite ones just because uh if we wanted to place it down obviously the other way we'd have a very nice view of whatever is in front of us definitely one of the cooler blinds in my opinion this is probably my favorite one as well you also get a little bit of a spot over here that you can shoot for i believe if you really wanted to shoot for this little area all in all definitely pretty cool now let's take a final look at all of them so of course we have the grass one starting off here a little overview of it of course you get the nice little chair and a smaller blind in front the second one being the bark one definitely nice as well a little bit smaller in front as well with a little bit of areas to hide as well for some cover we then have i believe this is the mulch one uh this one is probably the most covered if you're looking for a full cover this one is going to give you the most coverage it looks like and then the last one of course being the shrubbery is what i'm guessing it's supposed to be called uh definitely a cool one this one's a little bit more see-through though which is kind of nice you can look at the animals and again they aren't able to see you pretty easily so this one's quite nice as well probably my favorite one would be the one over here uh just because you have a lot of spots to kind of look through a lot of spots for cover as well i mean you don't really need cover to shoot back i mean any animals aren't going to be shooting back at you but just a little bit of cover from the animals seeing you and of course if you did want to place it this way with the smaller area in front you'd have a nice little sitting area and a nice way nice view out the front of it uh but for now 
let's uh now go test out the hunting call so let's go into one of these blinds again just to test it out with and if we go over to the deer call we're gonna right click use it uh the description is a deer call is a sound emitting device that hunters use to manage the sound of a deer quite self-explanatory as it explains and we're gonna hit use we'll see what this does oh okay okay just a little cool animation and i'm guessing that will hopefully get some uh some deer and animals to come over to the area but again as long as we stay in this little blind animals should not be able to be detected by us as well we're gonna wait around here a little bit see if anything comes through all right so it's been a little bit uh, for some reason, it seems like our all of our uh, shacks or our little hunting blinds have spawned in again. I'm not sure what happened there. Might have just been uh, because obviously we spawned in quite a couple of them. And again, this is a new feature that was just released. But it uh, doesn't seem like we got any animals with that deer call. My only worry is that they might end up uh, getting called to behind here. Since, of course, this isn't in our area. So what I think we're going to do is head to an area that's a lot more flat. We're able to see it all quite a lot better and uh try this out once again so uh let's head to a little bit of a different area a little bit more open area and uh i'll give this one more try real fast all right so i moved over to quite an open area and i have a little bit of a better idea of what we're going to be doing so let's quickly use the uh deer call that's what we can so use this real fast get some deer coming and now what we're gonna do is run up on this hill and hopefully oh wait there's one coming right now coming right towards us switch over our guns but there we go okay i didn't think it would work that instantly okay okay so actually as we were leaving the last area i did see a buck that i think was actually killed so what i'm guessing is uh the last time we used the call we actually got a we did get a deer but we may have got a predator as well that ate that deer before we were able to hunt it. So now we should be able to use this knife. And of course, before we skin it, make sure we third eye and inspect it. Get that hunting XP. And I think what we're going to do is wait. Now there is, of course, a cooldown on the deer call. So we're going to wait a little bit and then we're going to try it out once more. Maybe even get a predator. We'll, we'll see what happens. So there we go. We landed ourselves a nice deer. We should be able to skin it. We're going to most likely be getting the same amount that we get from every single deer. But once again, we level up our hunter level. We are going to be getting some extra loot, hopefully, from some of these hunts. Uh, that's going to take a while, though. We might actually end up grinding some of that on stream. Okay, if you guys are watching this, I am live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. EST. Make sure to go check that out. But uh, we're going to wait a little bit. As you can see, if we try and use the deer call right now, there is a little bit of a timer, 96 seconds left. So we're going to wait for that timer to be up and try this out one more time. See what we can get. All right. So it's been a little bit. Let's try this out again. This time we're going to make sure we can quickly switch over to our Lancaster. A uh, quick tip, by the way, if you guys don't know, just general Red Dead tip. If you right click on an item, that will be your fast item. So for instance, if we right click on our Flacco's revolver, we can see this little symbol here. And then when we hit tab, we'll just automatically pull it out uh same thing again if we go over to our rifle we right click on it we have our hands out we hit tab we'll pull out our rifle just a quick little tip definitely useful one that i didn't know for a while definitely helpful but again let's uh quickly try out this call again and see what animal we get this time so we're gonna use the call and then make sure our gun's out doesn't seem like all of it comes immediately every single time so gonna wait here a little bit i guess and see what we get oh wait 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 we got one we got a deer came by the area it might have seen us though no it didn't we should be able to get it all right and boom there we go all right so the deer call sometimes isn't immediate immediate sometimes i think i took about 10 15 20 seconds for it to start frolicking its way over to us but finally did and of course we got it so let's inspect the animal one more time and uh now i think after this we're gonna move over to probably the last feature we're gonna be talking about today unfortunately we have no idea where these legendary hunting or these legendary poaching missions are eventually hopefully we're gonna be doing a video on that one day but for now be able to show off at least the features i can show off to you guys so what we're gonna do is head over to i'm guessing there'll probably be one over at lake isabella our formal hunting grounds Hi, you guys. Oh, okay. lady, scared me a little bit there, Phil. 
Oof. Oh, here's a good one. <laughs> All right. Well, good shot. Sorry, Thank partner. Just, Thank just heard a shot. And, uh, it's <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You take care. Oh, you too. <laughs> so we can see we already got some people checking in on us uh but for now again we're gonna head over to lake isabella our old hunting ground oh wait this is new over here ranch tasks i'm guessing that's not for us of course we're gonna head over to lake isabella and we're gonna i guess just hope that there are some ice fishing spots out here if not there's of course barrow lagoon and i believe the lake up here is also frozen so we should be able to find one of those fishing spots uh, on the way of course we also are going to purchase a fishing pole i don't believe i have one at the moment which we can buy from i believe any butcher shop so well let's go grab ourselves a fishing pole and i guess i will see you guys once we are over at lake isabella hopefully testing out the new ice fishing and seeing how it goes all right slight correction you cannot purchase a fishing rod from the hunting stands you can only purchase it at one of the fish stores only one i know of is at blackwater right over here uh just spent a lot of time running over here unfortunately our horse had some issues so uh, i just ran all the way from our last hunting location north of strawberry all the way to blackwater so it's quite a little bit of a run but we are here now and we are going to purchase ourselves a fishing rod so let's do that and then with that we're also going to purchase us some bait um honestly i'm not sure if there's a huge difference between the different ones i've always used bread bait and pretty much have only used bread bait my whole entire time uh so we're going to purchase that i don't think we can hold 64 i think 32 might be the max there we go so uh we're gonna grab that we have our fishing rod and now we should be good to go i don't believe we need any extra equipment let's double check but i don't believe we need any extra special equipment to be able to uh actually hunt over at the ice fishing spots we're also gonna grab some crawdad bait because why not they look cute i wanted to grab some uh there we go and uh we're gonna go find ourselves a horse i guess and uh, i'll see you guys once we are all the way up over in the snow at Lake Isabella, we're also going to change our clothes, make sure we're not going to be freezing up there. But I'll see you guys once we have finally found ourselves a horse. Hopefully that doesn't take another hour. And then uh, we have made our way all the way up to Lake Isabella or one of those other frozen lakes that uh, will hopefully have a nice fishing spot. And we're going to be testing out, of course, the ice fishing and uh, checking out how it is. Alrighty, obviously... We went over to Lake Isabella. There weren't any ice fishing spots here, but we're over at the neighboring uh, little pond lake of Barrow Lagoon. And it seems there's a couple spots for it. So we're going to head on down here, test these things out. I'm actually very excited to try these out. Ooh, we also got a bunch of, a couple timber wolves, which will definitely, hopefully get us some good XP as well with our hunting. I'll quickly go inspect those. There we go. Inspected both the wolves. Just getting ourselves a little bit of XP. Yeah, let's try out these little ice fishing areas. These things are pretty cool. Let's take a little look of the cabin. So just a basic little cabin here. I'm guessing we are going to be digging the hole. So uh, let's see how this works. Start ice fishing. So ice fishing station hut. Uh, does this little cooking area work as well? I'm curious. I don't think it does. Yeah, I think this is just for heat is what I'm guessing. But uh, let's go over here and we hit space. Uh, we need a fishing rod in our hand. So let's grab our fishing rod. Use. Make sure we have this equipped here. And then again, if we hit space, let's see what happens. Oh, we just start ice fishing like this. Okay, okay. Oh, here we go. We got one. Got some nibbles. Oh, we're getting something. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. So we just have to wait here. Oh, and we got a fish and it relaxes you as well. Okay, okay. All right, I'm not sure if we did it wrong, but I don't see a fish. So let's try this again. Again, put on a piece of bread bait. Just make sure we have that there. I did run away a little bit, so that might have messed stuff up. So let's try it one more time. Oh, wait, we still have the little fish in our, in our hand. Uh, if we put this away, are we going to be able to carry the fish or pick it up now? Let's see what happens. We'll let go into our inventory. There we go. Okay, okay. Just needed to figure out again. First time trying some stuff out. Got to make sure we're doing it the right way. So there we go. Got ourselves our first fish. Now uh, doing this again should be a lot easier. So again, I believe we just make sure that this is in our inventory or in our hands. Make sure our fishing pole is this. And then we should be able to just hit space. And now we're back to ice fishing. So we're going to wait. We'll, we'll probably get one more fish. And uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, here we go. Already getting some. All right, there we go. Looks like we got another fish. Let's see how this goes. There we go. A little one, a little one. 
and i believe if we just hold r now we should be able to put that in our pocket if we put our rod away and then we hold r i believe again it's a little weird again this did just released yesterday we should be able to put it in our pocket and boom all right so we figured it out it took a second or two but uh now that we understand it it's definitely a little bit easier than regular fishing for sure put that in our hand again start fishing Again, this is a feature that was just released yesterday, so they might change just a little bit. It might even be changed by the time that, uh, of course, you guys are watching this video. But uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure you have your pole out as you're taking your pole out. You start ice fishing. Just wait here for a little bit. Eventually, we should get a little nibble. There we go. Perfect timing. Thank you very much, server, for being right on time with me. And we get another fish. And then we should... Oh, never mind. The line snapped. Okay, so that's what it seems like. Uh, it seems pretty straightforward. We'll try and catch one more here before we go, though. Make sure we leave on a good note. Oh, here we are. Okay. Oh, I think we might have missed that second one. That one was fast. Did we mess that up? Yep, we didn't. We did. We messed it up. All right, we'll wait. Okay, we're going to get one more. We're going to get at least one more. Oh, here we go. And where's the second one? There it is and hopefully we're gonna get something decent this time oh okay is that a salmon quite nice and then again to grab it we just put away the fishing pole and we should be able to grab it from our hands yep sockeye salmon there we go all right so it took a second to figure out but once we figured it out it seems pretty easy honestly this seems like a lot more consistent a lot faster fishing also we got some coyotes that are trying to steal our kill from earlier gonna make sure that doesn't happen There we go. Okay, he can get away. He'll tell his friends not to steal our kills anymore. But we are going to, of course, inspect these for the XP. But uh, there we go. There is the ice fishing. And uh, honestly, there's all the new features that were added in the new update. Hopefully, again, we're going to be doing a video soon doing the new legendary and illegal poaching. It sounds really fun, quite risk taking. And from what it sounds like, maybe the animals that you go out and hunt are buffed a little bit. So that would definitely be uh, quite the challenge for us as the experienced hunter. We spent quite a couple hours hours over at lake isabella in our time but uh honestly i think that's gonna be about it for this video we uh were able to showcase you of course the new update on gold rush rp i really hope you guys enjoyed it uh if there are any questions about the update or anything that i didn't go over peel please feel free to say so or ask in the comments section below i'm gonna try and respond to every comment that i can but uh, i think it's gonna be about it for this episode we're gonna end off a nice little beautiful view over at this lake and uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did as always make sure to leave a like and if you want to of course subscribe and i will see you in the next video